Today's case, we are going to go over Shayna Hubers and what happened to Ryan Poston. Ryan was actually an attorney. Uh, I don't think he was a student anymore. Yeah, he was an attorney. And Shayna was, I think, maybe 18 or 19 when they started dating. I want to say she was about 21 around the time of the crime. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder. Guilty. The woman who shot her boyfriend because he was about to ditch her for a Miss USA contest. This is Shayna's motive. <laughs> this is this is what Shayna could not take and could not handle. Shayna Huber shot her 29-year-old boyfriend Ryan Poston six times. Prosecutors said she was in a jealous rage because he was pursuing a relationship with Miss Ohio who testified for the prosecution. How did he strike you? Funny. Funny and smart. Shayna saw this shit and flipped. She flipped. Shayna knew it was over. Shayna knew, Shayna knew that she was not as special as she thought she was. She knew it was over. She testified that she met Ryan Poston on Facebook and he asked her out. She was waiting to meet Poston for a late night drink when he was shot by Hubers, who found the her Facebook messages setting up the date. Hubers drove over to Poston's apartment outside Cincinnati where she confronted him. She claimed she shot him in self-defense. I grabbed the gun and I shot him. The victim's Six mother times, spoke after Shana, the sentencing. Shayna tried to actually claim self-defense here. She tried to play victim after it was obvious that she drove over to his house the same night that he made plans to have drinks with another woman who happened to be the runner up to Miss USA. Shayna could not handle that, let's be honest. Second of all, she shot him six times. Does that sound like self-defense to you? D six times? I think most of the time, if somebody's gonna shoot somebody in self-defense, it, it I, actually, I'm not even gonna look. Okay, so now that we actually know Shayna did it, let's take a listen to her 911 call. This is Shayna right after the murder, ready to claim self defense. Campbell County 911. Shayna's 911 call. Ma'am, I have, I have an, an um, um, oh, I, I, I killed my boyfriend in self defense. Okay, where are you at? Okay, where are you at? I'm at 12 Meadow Lane, Highland Heights, Kentucky. Here, here, here. Dead, ma'am. He's completely dead. Okay. And how long ago did you shoot him? I don't know. 15, 10, 10, 10, 10, not even that long. Like, 10 or 15. <laughs> All right. Do you need an ambulance? Have you been injured? I'm not injured, ma'am. I was thrown into the side of the couch. Okay. And I was thrown into the side of the couch. Shayna had no injuries. Shayna had absolutely no injuries and this speaks so 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 much to like how Shayna has lived her whole life as a pretty girl that nobody really questions what she said. She legitimately thought in her head that she could play victim and say that she was beaten, thrown into the couch, and that he pulled a gun out of her and then people would just believe it. So he, he slammed you into the couch but you don't have any injuries? I don't have any injuries. I was just very frightened. He's, he picked his She says it on the night. I, Shayna Huber's claim that I was beaten to the point that I needed to shoot somebody I knew six times, but I don't have any injuries. I just needed to show him. A lot bigger than Come me. on, dude. <laughs> Shayna's account of what happened may not actually be very far off from what happened, but what Shayna originally said was, he beat me. This was self-defense. And then later, she goes on to say, he picked me up and tried to carry me out of the house. He threw me, and you'll see, it was very far. She's already trying to prove in her, like, in her head to the dispatcher that this was a violent attack. To them, okay? And then, and then because he was twitching and I knew he was gonna die anyway, and he was making funny noises, I shot him a couple more times just to kill him because I knew he would have been. Yeah, I'm sorry, you said you shot him a couple more times after that? Yeah, I, I, How many times did you shoot him total? I don't know. <laughs> okay, because he was twitching and you knew he was going to die, so you shot him again? And not to make sure he was dead because he, he was, was making funny noises. Oh, Sounds like a death rattle. So you shot him instead of calling 911? Do what? Oh my god! Holy shit, did you guys just hear what she said? She basically just confirmed to the 911 operator 
that he was alive and she shot him to finish him off. You dumb bitch. Let's play that again. So what she said was he was making funny noises. This is what she's talking about is a, is a death rattle. It's, it's the gurgling noise of the blood trying to come up and mixing with your lungs or oxygen or whatever. It's basically the confirmation of the dying process. Shayna heard this and fucking shot him again and she says it on the call. Let's go back. Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sick. You dumb bitch. The, at this point, the dispatch Patrick's in shock. <laughs> he was like, he just was twitching when he was pretty much dead, and I shot him just when he stopped twitching. <laughs> Because Shayna has said so much on this 911 call, including that she finished Ryan off after a death rattle, Shayna's fucked. Her attorneys are coming into this case with an admission of guilt on the call. That, like, that's where that's where they're starting. Let's take a look at Shayna's incredibly odd behavior before her interrogation at the station. <laughs> Thank you. Get a little, she's getting a little stretch in now. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I cannot believe I did that. Oh my God! I, I'm sorry, I told you guys that I fucking watch a little bit of these and then, hold on. Not vaguely reminiscent of you guys know what I'm about to pull up. We just gotta watch it. Another crazy ex-girlfriend's strange behavior in the interrogation room when the walls are closing in and they just decide to start start spiraling. Let's give it two good minutes of Jody. Because Jody fucking did it too. If you guys aren't familiar with this, Jody Arias was convicted of killing Travis Alexander, who was a guy that she dated for six months and then she stalked. Jody came to his house, threw the doggy door, slashed his throat, shot him in the head, and stabbed him multiple times, and then claimed that she was never there. Okay, that's enough of that, Jody. So you get it. These bitches are crazy. I think that this really kind of was the account of events but is this grounds to shoot somebody in self-defense? Listen to what she says happened. He had put his arm across the table and there's a lamp. And he had put his arm across the table and had it in my face. And put his arm across the table, at the pointed at her. After he had thrown me around the room. Thrown me around the room, what does that mean? And was saying emotionally to me, Hillbilly. And then called her a hillbilly. So um, she had to defend herself by shooting. Come on, Shayna. He was sitting, he was announced it when I shot him. He was, went like this. Literally. That's when I knew he was dead. Or close to it mm -hmm. and twitching. And that's, and I couldn't, I let him, I still, even though the hurt, I still, and that's on me, loved him. But I couldn't stand to watch him twitch. I knew he was gonna die or have a completely deformed face. He's very vain. One of our last conversations we had that was good was that he wants my best friend who's a dentist to do his veneers and wants to get a nose job. Just that kind of person. And I shot him right here. I gave him his nose job. He wanted. Shayna shot the man in the face and then said, I gave him the nose job that he wanted. Apparently, the text messages were the most damning thing about this trial. So let's dive in and see what they said. Um, as Shayna became more possessive, Ryan's exasperation and concern grew. In a text to his cousin, he wrote, This is getting to be restraining order level crazy. She's shown up at my condo like three times and refuses to leave each time. Hence, why Ryan may have actually picked up Shayna that night and carried her out. Finally, at the end of his rope. Okay, um, 
Hanley and his legal assistant, Lori, witnessed Shayna's obsessive behavior and the toll it took on Ryan. If she couldn't get him on his cell phone, she'd call the receptionist and ask for him, or she'd show up here. I mean, it was relentless, and she would text him 50 to 100 times a day. She would just wear him down and exhaust him to the point where he would say, okay, Shayna. He kept doing the easy thing, which was staying with her. When Ryan left work for the last time, he told Zimmerman about his big date. He said it with a big smile on his face. I have a date with Miss Ohio tonight. <sighs> Ma'am, I'm very nervous about what you're doing tonight because who knows what Shayna will do. You need to get her gone. I need you to call the police. I need you to call a locksmith. I need you to make it very final, said his friend. And that's when he said, hey, Lori, I've got this. Don't worry about me. Okay, a little bit about Shayna. How smart was she? Um, I thought she was close to genius. I mean, she was always in AP classes, getting A's and everything. Shayna received countless awards for academic excellence and leadership. Oh boy, okay, the, I feel like the personality traits build. Shayna couldn't stand having lost. She put her all into trying to be the perfect girlfriend, perfect wife for Ryan, and then here he is, just gonna go off and talk to Miss USA. That's how she saw it. She was unable to deal with the rejection, but in her eyes, rejection was failure. Although she asked to see a lawyer, she found it impossible to remain silent. <laughs> And she says, I was so out of it. I was like, it's in self-defense, but I killed him. Can you come to the scene? I was raised really, really Christian. A murder is a sin. It just seemed like she was con oh, it just seemed like she was constantly babbling. You have really pretty teeth. Did you have orthodontia? She talked so much that the officers were wanting to leave the room. If I had to go to jail, can you sh can you shower there? Or do you just get really dirty? They were switching off so that they wouldn't get burned out. What are they going to do with me? I don't know. They just told me to come in here and sit with you. Oh, my God. Everybody is done with Shayna's shit. Here's what's going to happen right now, Shayna. With everything we have, we're going to, I'm going to have to charge you with murder. <laughs> Her first question was, what degree? Once again, this is such a selfish question because when she says what degree, she's basically saying what's going to happen to me and for how long. That's what she's trying to say. 